bust it. Uh, it was a uh, significant event, uh, and I want you to know that we're all uh, there to work together to make sure that uh, not just people get supported through this, but that this happens uh, more and more infrequently in the coming years. The reality is, though, that with climate change, uh, there are going to be more extreme weather events. So we need to continue to step up in our fight against climate change. But we also need to continue to be making investments in resilient infrastructure that can handle uh, what the future is holding. We know uh, over the past a uh, number of years we've made about a dozen investments in uh, flood resilient infrastructure and uh, various measures from the federal side onto uh, the uh, City of Toronto and we're going to continue to be there uh, to make sure that people are safe and that uh, infra infrastructure needs are met long into the future in this great and growing city. Uh, well thank you very much uh, Mr. Prime Minister for being here. As you can see we have amazing people that work in this facility to keep Toronto moving every day. We are going to speak for all of us when we say we're thrilled to hear that the federal government is coming out and I'm going to let you know that we're going to put our submission in today. All right? <laughs> <laughs> got, to got, to keep them here, got to keep them here happy, right? And, um, and get that to work. So we want to say thank you for that. We're looking to hear a little bit more about the program, but we're excited. Yeah, no, listen, uh, what, what we're doing uh, today is, is uh, making sure that you guys have uh, good jobs, not just for years to come, but for decades to come. Uh, the focus that, that we're doing right now as a federal government is stepping up with the kind of predictable long-term transit funding uh, that means that you know, partners like, uh, like the City of Toronto and Olivia Chow can plan for not just the next couple of years, but for the next decade and beyond. It's permanent transit funding that's gonna make, uh, make it easier to have those longer term plans that we know is part of it, but it also gives both you the certainty in the work that you're doing, but especially Torontonians, the certainty that transit is gonna meet their needs uh, for decades to come. Olivia? Yeah, folks, did you hear this? This incredible, long-term partnership that we have with the federal government. Listen to those words. Long-term, permanent, permanent and predictable. Should we give them a big round of applause for the federal government? Because, you know, we are never alone. And with this kind of partnership, it means that we've always had this kind of historic partnership and to be able to confirm it, reaffirm it, and celebrate it is a great day. Yeah. Well, we announced that we wanted to build a permanent transit funding a number of years ago, $3 billion a year, so that's uh, $30 billion over the next 10 years. But what we've done over the past years is work with, uh, with you know, cities like Toronto, with partners, to make sure uh, that it's flowing in the right way, to make sure that you can plan right so that you're meeting both the needs. I mean, some of the things, the trains that you're working on are, uh, are, uh, are getting on in age and you're therefore having to do more and more to keep them going. Well, we need uh, a clear plan on how, how those next phases are gonna come and how uh, you're gonna be ready to meet the, the challenges and the needs of the coming years. And that's, uh, that's what this predictability is all about. This is uh, an investment in you because uh, you're worth it. Because the, the trust that riders have every day uh, that you're, you've been able to have their backs and keep them safe is unbelievably important. And it's what keeps uh, great cities like Toronto continuing to, uh, to run optimally. So it's a, it's a real pleasure to see you guys. Just one last thing. Yesterday was a tough day because yeah. the rain was coming down. And TTC today is now fully back on because of all yes. your work and, and many other people all across the city, uh, transit workers. And it's a great relief to all those people traveling. And they say, this morning when I said uh, on, on, in the media, TDC is back up all the way. And there was uh, some big yeah. silence. Right. So there's enough money for new all sorts of things. That's what this funding is all about. Making sure that the priorities that the city and the and transit officials of the province have uh, can be met uh, with significant federal money in partnership. Yes. 
fit in the problems that I put up on the two, uh, but we're there to give that predictability so that you can get clients. That's good, thank you. There you go, another question, here you go. So any plans to put LRT or transit in Durham region and then connect GTC with Durham? Well, listen, uh, uh, the plan, what we're asking for with this permanent transit funding is people take advantage of the, the predictability over the coming decade and long into the future, because it's permanent transit funding, that will allow people to do the regional planning that sometimes, uh, sometimes isn't there. I was just in Kitchener-Waterloo yesterday uh, talking with some of the challenges that they're facing there. Uh, I know Milton's going hard and trying to develop more things on the eastern end of Durham region. Uh, there's lots more to do. What we're really trying to do is say, okay, the money's going to be there, the investment's going to be there. Now take the time to make broad plans to meet what the ridership is going to be, not next year, but 10 years from now. And that's what really gives part of the predictability and solidity to people. I mean, it's not just about you know knowing that the train's going to be there next week when you want to get into work. It's if you're moving into a community where you can buy a home, you know, is there a plan that means you're going to be able to rely on public transit and not have to uh, spend on on gas as part of those decisions? And no, being predictable about that planning actually meets people where they are uncertain about the future. And this permanent investment is going to go a long way towards giving people exactly that predictability that they know when they're buying a home, when they're thinking about moving to a community, what part is, what they're going to be able to, to rely on in terms of, of transit. Just to, to the federal government. Exactly. When we got elected in 2015, we said we're investing in transit, we're investing in infrastructure, and we did that. We made a huge decision to bet on you and on you know the people who are building this future and we've seen tremendous changes over the past few years and this is about making sure that that continues uh, one last question from this side anyone yeah go ahead well, i want to say first a major thank you for for you coming today and let you know on behalf of the 260 great employees at greenwood shop we want to keep the work here and we're on a mission to continue to be a transit system that Toronto can be proud of. Hey, on that, I will, I will turn it over to our local MP, Julie DeBrusser. Merci beaucoup, Premier ministre, d'être ici parce que je sais que le transport en commun c'est tellement important à notre ville, à notre communauté. C'est comment on se rend de place à place pour notre travail, pour aller à l'école. Moi, je n'ai pas de voiture, alors pour moi, c'est tellement important de rencontrer tous ces gens qui font ce travail pour, pour nous supporter uh, de jour à jour. Alors vraiment, merci à tout le monde. Merci à notre mairesse, Olivia Chow, de ici. Je sais qu'on a vraiment un partenariat tellement important. Alors, je suis premier ministre. Merci. Ben, merci, merci de rappeler aussi l'importance du bilinguisme. Euh, écoute, on est là pour investir de façon permanente dans le transport collectif. Euh, c'est pour bâtir un avenir plus solide pour tous, pour reconnaître le travail que vous faites euh, et surtout pour s'assurer un avenir euh, plus prospère euh, pour tous. Uh, Christia, anything to add? Yeah, just to say it is so great to work with everyone here. It is great to work with the unionized workers here who have jobs that are about keeping our city moving and keeping your families living a good life. Um, we love working with the mayor and her team. And you know, as the Prime Minister has said, this is $30 billion over 10 years. It's already in the budget. And what we're saying to great cities like Toronto across the country is put forward your plans so we can work together. As the Prime Minister pointed out, it's also about integrating public transit and housing and being sure that as we're building public transit, we're building housing density where the public transit is. So I think this is a really exciting moment for our communities, for the city of Toronto, and for the whole country.